Hello students, today we are going to perform a very fun activity and that fun activity is regarding a topic that is types of mixture. Now let us see what type of ingredient we need for this activity. So first we require 4 beakers filled with water. What else do we need? We need ink. And what else can you think of students? We require sugar. After sugar, let us take some amount of sand. Now let us take some oil. Now that we have all the ingredients, let us perform this fun activity. So let us start with ink. So I'll take some amount of ink. I'll add drop by drop carefully little bit of ink into the water. Now observe student what is happening. Now that I have added ink, let us take some sugar. So this is the sugar. I'm adding slowly, slowly, little bit amount of sugar. Now you know that sugar is a solid state, adding into a liquid state that is nothing but water. Now after addition of sugar, let us take some amount of sand. Now students do not get confused with the sand. This is also a sand but of white color. This is not sugar. Okay. So I'm adding now you can see little bit of sand. Now you can see how slowly, slowly it is getting settled down at the bottom. Now after addition of sand, let us add some amount of oil. Now you can see this oil, I'm adding slowly, slowly, drop by drop into the water. Now both are of liquid state, but isn't it magical how the oil is just staying at the top? Now let us stir this all solution little by little, water and sugar. Now you can see sugar, how it is slowly, slowly getting dissolved into the water. Now after stirring the sugar, let us stir sand. Now you can see no matter for how long I stir the sand, nothing is going to happen. Isn't it? How the sand is settled down just below the water. So you can stir it all day long. Nothing is going to happen students. You can see. Now let us stir this oil and water. I don't know about you, but I'm liking this color of this solution. Now that I have stirred oil and water also, anything happened to it? No, nothing. So what does this prove? This proves that we have two types of mixture. Now let me separate this two type of mixture. Now can you observe something students? Now that we have separated two types of mixture, let us observe this because now on the left side, you can see this is nothing but homogeneous type of mixture. Now what is homogeneous type of mixture? Students, can you see any two different layers in the beaker? I cannot. Can you? No, because this is nothing but homogeneous mixture and that is nothing but the definition of homogeneous mixture that it is a uniform composition with no distinct layers. But when you come to the heterogeneous mixture, you can clearly see how the sand is settled down and water is up. And similarly with the oil too, how the two layers, you can see distinctly they are separated. On the top, you have the oil and on the bottom, you have nothing but water. And this is nothing but heterogeneous mixture when you can see two distinct layers. Now this is solid and water type of mixture. And this is liquid and liquid type of mixture. So this is nothing but your homogeneous mixture and this is nothing but your heterogeneous mixture. I hope students you have liked this activity and you have finally understood what is homogeneous mixture and what is heterogeneous mixture.